So my name is Yvonne Zimba and I'm from Zambia. And um, basically in Zambia I work as information and communications officer in an organization called Zambia National Association for People with Physical Disabilities. And I've been with this organization for 10 years now. And um, my work there my work there has been mostly to do with communication, public awareness on disability issues. And um, this also included uh, creating links with other organizations, telling them more about what SNAPID is all about. That was basically my work. Uh, I did journalism and public relations, and that is why I was used, working as an information and communications officer. And so um, this talking photos project, uh, when it came to, when the suggestion came about this project, I was very excited and I thought I could take it because it was about photography and I was, I'm interested, personally interested in photography. And the more we talked about this project and how it was going to be, it was really, we didn't have an idea of how it was going to be received by the people, especially in the local or the rural areas but it was well received and uh, what this project is about it's uh, promoting the positive image of persons with disabilities because as you may know people with disabilities uh, there's a lot of negative connotations attached to disability and so this project was aimed at bringing all those wonderful things about people with disabilities that people can know and appreciate and embrace. And so this is what we are trying to do with this project. So what we did is we selected about 10 participants from uh, Rufunsa area in Zambia, which is, um, Rufunsa is uh, in Chongwe district now, but it's actually a district on its own now. It's actually a big, big area and it's outskirts of Lusaka. It's maybe more than 300 kilometers away from the city. And we selected these 10 participants who are all people with disabilities, and they are different ages, and they have, um, some of them are in, um, actually school going, and others have families, and they, yeah. So we selected these people, also balancing the gender, women and men. And what we wanted to do is uh, explore in their lives, to, for them to share with the world or with others, what is it that they want people to know about them. And what, so we took pictures from, their, from different areas of their lives and what they are interested in what their aspirations are, what their hopes are, what um, uh, they really appreciate about the people around them. And so we took pictures of things that they value most in their lives. And these are, this is the result of the exhibition that we had. And what uh, this exhibition in Rufusa was very huge. It brought a lot of people from everywhere in the village. It was really big. And um, we put the pictures, you know, uh, it was the first time they, had, they saw something like this and it was very good for people with disability in that area because then people that have always looked down on them, they saw that, oh wow, so this is what amazing things people with disabilities are, are doing and are capable of doing and so they showed their abilities and they showed different things about their lives. That's what the project did. And uh, it's, it's been one of the most successful projects in Snap It because um, also we realized at the end of this project that it's brought out a lot of confidence amongst the people that participated in this project because now they saw themselves as not just looking at the negative things about themselves but all the other positive things that, you know, like they appreciated so much more about themselves. and. Um, I could give an example of one of them who said like this project has awakened the dreams that I had in me. She had always dreamed to do different things in her life, but she had given up at some point. And when this project, through this project, because it was more like a journey to see like the things that you like, the things that you want to do. And so it actually made her realize that actually this is what I want to be. And why did I stop? And I still want to chase my dreams and be who I want to want to be. So. 
that is one of the good things that's brought out this project, yeah.